All right, let's see. Um, right, so, uh, so we started this uh, week with um, uh, a little bit more on this discussing uh, testing, yeah, that, uh, but uh, in particular, uh, testing the user interface, uh, which is part of uh, what we've been uh, discussing for the last couple of weeks. We've uh, discussed um, uh, unit testing, the, the, the back end, uh, the Java side, the middle tier. We uh, discussed uh, structural testing, where we do some coverage testing. And um, before the break, we, uh, we discussed uh, user interface testing uh, using uh, libraries such as Jest. And uh, we, we, we saw that uh, there was a lot of commonalities in uh, of whether you were, uh, you know, regardless of whether you were testing on the front end or the back end, uh, nevertheless, there's, there's things that are, are in common, right? We, we, we definitely want to be able to isolate uh, those uh, elements that are under test. Uh, that uh, we want to remove any dependencies uh, from uh, data access, from our uh, network access, databases, and also uh, that um, we discussed that it was easier to test things that uh, were uh, stateless, right? That they that did not maintain any of their states or that handle any of their events. Uh, and, and now for the for the Java side, it was pretty, fairly simple since uh, the implementation was already stateless. It was just uh, algorithms. Uh, that uh, you know, if you give it uh, the uh, the same input, uh, they always gave you the same output, right? So you, it was just verifying that uh, you know the, you had you were covering all the edge cases and you were covering all the boundary uh, and whatnot, right? But it was stateless. It was stateless, so it was fairly simple in that sense. Uh, for the for the um, uh, user interface, it was uh, uh, somewhat uh, different since um, our implementation was stateful, uh, and so we covered. The, um, the 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 challenges of uh, of testing something that was stateful, and in um, in the upcoming assignment we're going to ask you to refactor some of those components so that that they are uh, test friendly. Um, if you have already you know been using uh, techniques such as uh, uh, React uh, Redux, uh, if you're familiar with that technology, uh, perhaps you don't have to refactor anything. You already are stateless, and uh, you are already uh, test friendly, uh, but if you if you have not if we have uh, if if you're like you're, you're like us, uh, you'll you will we'll need to refactor a couple of things uh, so that we are friendly to testing. Uh, so yeah, so we we uh, talk, we we finished up talking about um, user interface testing uh, earlier this week, and we had just started um, talking about continuous integration, the importance of continuous integration, and uh, and using the tool the Jenkins tool for uh, for automating a lot of the processes that we are currently doing manually. Uh, we'll finish up uh, continuous integration today. Uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, discuss the, uh, the, net, the new assignment, uh, close the, the sprint, and start the uh, new sprint. All right. Any, uh, any questions before we begin? All right. 